All right, people. Ian got a bad case of Tukaid super dysentery over the weekend, so I'm filling in for this mech lab entry. This one's on the... Oh, the Vulcan. I just got transferred to Team Hurricane, so I get to pilot one of these things. Christ, bust from dropship captain of piloting this weird-ass beer can of a mech. Train thing wasn't even my fault. <clears throat> The Vulcan is a medium-class battle mech produced in 2775, with a focus on countering hostile infantry and pacifying urban environments. It gets its name from its flamer weaponry, which spout flames that evoke the fiery forges of the Roman god of metalworking, Vulcan. The Vulcan weighs in at 40 tons and stands approximately 11 meters tall. Its top speed is quite fast for its weight, clocking in at 97 kilometers per hour in optimal conditions. The speed is achieved by one of the Pitbond Company's 240 class standard engines. The speed is enhanced by a sextet of jump jets, giving the Vulcan an impressive jump range of 180 meters. A stock set of 10 heat sinks provide mediocre cooling for the mech. The original designers making the assumption it would only be facing infantry whenever possible. Okay, designers. Lastly, is the Vulcan's armor, which is possibly its largest drawback. A meager five tons of armor plating keeps the Vulcan safe during combat. While this can allow the Vulcan to withstand light fire, anything as heavy as a particle cannon or a large laser poses the serious possibility of breaching its reactor in a single direct strike. Wait, what? The standard Vulcan, the VL-2T, mounts a light Class II autocannon in its right shoulder with a one ton supply of ammunition. Its right arm wields its signature flamer, which is capable of incinerating companies of infantry with ease. Anything its flamer misses, its left arm mounted machine gun will be sure to chew through. Uh huh. This machine gun is fed by a single ton of ammunition as well. This is usually adequate for short to medium length engagements, provided the pilot is careful with his or her trigger finger. A single medium laser in the left torso rounds out the design, giving the Vulcan 2T modest range even when its munitions are depleted. That's all? The VL-5T is an interesting modification to the standard Vulcan, replacing the autocannon and its problem of light ammunition supply with a trio of medium lasers. Oddly, the spare two tons go to reinforcing the mech's armor rather than increasing its cooling efficiency. This makes the 5T a very good ambush mech, but ensures it will be plagued with overheating problems without further alterations. Along with a chance of not going critical in one hit, the VL-5M is a massive overhaul and seeks to correct many of the Vulcan's shortcomings. Its weaponry has been replaced with a large pulse laser in the right torso and a medium pulse laser in its left. This extra energy weaponry is kept under control thanks to 11 double efficiency heat sinks. The standard flamer machine gun are carried over from the stock model in the arms. The additional mass of these changes is mitigated with the inclusion of a lightweight endosteel frame- WHY DON'T I GET THIS ONE?! The VL-5S is a rare example of a mask-outfitted inner sphere mech- WHAT?! Allowing the Vulcan short bursts of speed at the risk of overloading its myomers. The engine to the 5S has been upgraded to an extra light variant, and its armor replaced with experimental lightweight ferrofibrous plating. Cellular ammunition storage equipment is installed that contains volatile storage of autocannon ammo, which could previously destroy the mech from the inside during overheating and relatively minor armor breaches. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Command. Thank you. While nearly all weapons on the 5S are the same as the stock production model, the autocannon's caliber has been increased to a Class V Imperator Ultra Autocannon. While this model of cannon is far more capable of dealing damage to targets, and has twice the firing rate of the standard autocannon, it has a higher risk of jamming the normal, mitigating its effectiveness. I, I swear to... An interesting factoid to note is that the Vulcan was sometimes referred to as a Scarecrow due to its distinct silhouette. This has fallen out of favor in recent years over confusion with the Stormcrow, a 55-ton clan Omnimech. Hell is shit. Anton? What kind of Vulcan do I got? I know you just told me! Tell me again! Why in the Kerensky fried fuck do I have a 2T? I don't care if that's what we've got! It's a piece of shit! It's got less guns than my Biomo, and it's uglier! How's that possible? Yeah, I'll ask Coventry Metalworks! I'll ask him to trade it up for a Phoenix Hawk! Or an Urban Mech! Or my Dignity! Ian gave the Vulcan a refit? Then it better be hot shit 
Got to hit an enemy fort in that thing tomorrow! Ah, hell. Might as well give those Vulcan mods a look. Computer and recording.